Right, uh, still right here on Breakfast Central, still talking with Nigerian Stories, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, yesterday pleaded not guilty uh, to an amended charges uh, against him by the federal government. Now, he was arraigned at the federal high court in Abuja over charges of treasonable felony and terrorism, which the federal government amended last week to amount to a seven-count charge. Now, the trial judge, Justice Binta Iyako, refused Kanu's application for transfer to Kuja Correctional Center from the DSS facility where it was being held, but allowed three persons of his choice to visit him at the DSS facility. Now, the judge then adjourned the case to November 10 to hear his application, challenging the competence of the charges. Now, to give us more updates on yesterday's court proceedings in Abuja, we have uh, Barrister Maxwell Okpara, one of the counsels to Namdi Kano himself. Uh, good morning, Barrister Okpara. Welcome to Breakfast Central. Let's start by getting your thoughts on the outcome of yesterday's court proceedings and the amended charges by the federal government on your client, Mr. Namdekano. Okay, right. So we're looking to see how Barrister Maxwell on, on the program, uh, one of the counsels to uh, Mr. Namdekano, who uh, appeared in court yesterday. I think that was the... Uh, uh, agitation before the court proceedings because many people are watching that okay will they arraign Namdi Kanu in court the last time he was perhaps arraigned in, in absentia and charges were brought before him and you then have the federal government going to amend their charges uh, so it would have been almost like uh, you know silly not to bring the man himself right. uh, to and court now... to pre present them uh, himself all right so we have uh, Barrister Maxwell Opara counsel to Mr. Uh, Namdi Kanu uh, Barrister Opara good morning welcome to Breakfast Central Good morning. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear, Barrister Akbara. Welcome to the program. Let's start by getting your thoughts yes. on the outcome of yesterday's uh, court proceedings and the amended charges by the federal government on Nandi Kanu. Before I, 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 I uh, uh, state what actually happened in the courtroom, I want to tell Nigerians, including the Nigerian Bar Association, Nigerian General Union of Journalists, what happened yesterday is a national embarrassment. Recall that the federal government has applied to threaten and the secretly, and the people revolted against it. I have not seen where you are trying somebody for uh, uh, purported alleged of uh, terrorism, and you bar the press from covering it. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? You bar the, 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 the journalists, even in the Supreme Court, who have a press gallery. You stop lawyers from coming in. I was embarrassed yesterday. That one is, by the way, it is uh, for MD and NUJ to take it up. Yes, on the issue of the charge, you recall that the federal government initially filed an 11 count charge against uh, Nnamdi Kalo. Now, in that charge, a uh, court now, based on our application, court has struck out uh, six out of the 11. And even in the ruling, the judge even made mention of saying that the remaining five uh, charge. Is, uh, is nothing to write home about. But since the federal government said that they have a, a, a witness that let them come up with their witness, that is where we were before the military invaded in the Kalo's house. And then the Kalo, in order to run for his dear life, ran away. Now, they have uh, uh, adopted him and brought him back to Nigeria to uh, with uh, another... Barrister Maxwell, I hope you're still with us right here on the program. So that's Barrister Maxwell, one of the uh, uh, council members to Unamdi Kanu, uh, the IPOB uh, leader. He was arraigned in court yesterday for an amended seven count uh, charge. Hello. Yes, go on, Barrister yeah, yeah, Maxwell. Yeah. Loud and clear, yes. go on. So, so, so they come up with an amended seven count charge. So we responded, uh, but uh, before, it, uh, you don't even need to have a law degree for you to know that uh, those, uh, those things are worthless paper, but at the appropriate time. That's on the time to address it. So yesterday, Nadekalo took his plea of the purported seven amended count charge. He took a plea of not guilty, and we applied for it uh, that he should be transferred to, from DSSS to um, uh, uh, Kujé Correctional Centre because we have been having a very... DSSS refused to obey the order of court. Court order that they should be allowing us to be seeing Nadekalo every Mondays and every Thursdays, two hours every day, two, two persons. So, but most of the times, when you will go there, we will be harassed, we'll be, our rights will be violated. They will, make all, they will make it so difficult for us to see him. You recall that I even took his um, DSSS to court when I, my right was violated and it's a 50 million naira suit. When we took court, the appropriate place to keep Nandekalo is a PJ prison. I think 
But the court said, because of his safety, he said that uh, for now, that Nina Bekale should be at the DSS test. Okay, so, Barrister. Uh, applicant. Right, Barrister. Yeah. Now, your client was, looking at the history of your client, he was first arrested in 2015, but he fled the country yeah. in 2017 after he was granted bail for medical reasons. Yeah. We also saw Justice Nyako refuse his request to be transferred to Kuje Correctional Facility, as you have rightly said. But did you see any of that coming, judging by the fact that all documents were gathered by yourself and his team of counsel? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I, I cannot predict a judge uh, because the judge yesterday said that he used because of his safety. So since he said that it's because of his safety, we will now consider if we don't like that judgment, we cannot appeal against it. That is the only option left for us. But for now, we don't want to go into that. But he made a consequential order, warning the SSS and the federal government very, very well that they should make sure that anybody of Nadekalo's choice, anybody of his choice, to come and see him. Every, you recall that uh, his lawyer, his uh, international lawyer, doing his case in uh, America and uh, in UK, they came to have been coming here to see him. They refused the, the young man access, uh, 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 Mr. Bruce. They refused him access. Okay, when I ask you, come. They will allow you to you so that you can see Nandekali in open court on, on yesterday. He came from America to see Nand. They did not allow him to see Nand. So we draw attention of all these things to the judge and even the senator. Senator, if I invite some other persons that want to hear from them and see how they can intervene and mediate so as to have peace in this country, have peace in Southeast, they refuse them access. In the, the combined effect of all these things, the judge now gave them warning that they should, and he has increased the number from two to three. Mm. Three, three persons from Monday and Mondays and Thursdays. So that is where we are. Based on the other one, then his application for bail is pending. We are going to take his application for bail together with our uh, uh, most of uh, preliminary objection challenging the competency of the charge and the division of the court to hear the matter. That yeah. should be on the 10th of November. All right. Uh, uh, 2021. But Barrister Maxwell, we need to ask you, there's been lots of concern about the health status of Anand Kano himself. You saw him yesterday in court. What can you tell us about Anand Kano's health right now after being in custody for so long? Well, even before yesterday, I had been going to see and the Carlo. My very self, a job for Esquire, Aloy, Aloy, Nemeka, and the Chimwe, and the Habila. We are the lawyers that we are accredited to be seeing him. We have been seeing, we have been going to see him. So uh, we are made to understand, according to Nant, that uh, he normally, uh, they normally send a medical doctor to come and see him. So I will not ask him, what are you, are you improving in the health? What are the drugs they are giving you? So now the say you don't know, you know, when you don't have your own personal uh, physician, you don't have your own personal physician, that is the concern of everybody. So there is nothing one can do about it. Uh, he is there and uh, they promised, they even told the court yesterday that they are taking care of Nan, that Nan have the best uh, medical doctor. We have not seen those doctors, we have not seen him treating Nan, but in his health condition, you know, Nan is having a heart, heart problem. So, so I don't know, uh, he said that he's having a health, health, health issue. And that was the reason why we asked my Lord, allow him to go to the prison so that he will have access to his own medical doctor. So the one, the one he trusted. So the doctor is using the one being provided by the government. That is where we are, my Lord. Hmm. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Barista Hello. Max. Barista Maxwell, thank you uh, so much for coming. Barista Maxwell, can you hear us? Thank you so much for coming on the program, Breakfast Central Barrister Maxwell, counsel to Namde Kanu, who was arraigned yesterday and pleaded not guilty to his amended seven-count charge by the federal government. Thank you for, uh, once again, Barrister Maxwell, for coming on Breakfast Central.